So welcome everyone to the MGN channel, I'm your host Cornish, today we're going to be doing another top 5, we're going to be doing two top 5's, first one today is going to be the VR top 5, because I feel like the VR has been left aside and needs to get more out there, so I'm going to clock down to the top 5 of the VR games that I've played and enjoyed and I think is totally worth playing. So we're coming down to number five, which is Arizona Sunshine. Now, that game is absolutely fun. Uh, it was one of the early games back when the VR pro properly came out. And I can tell you one thing, though. Um, when I played it recently, uh, we, had a, we had a good fun. We had a good fun time, me and my friend. And it's best to play co-op, I feel like. Um, playing it in single player, yeah, go for it. But... Top is where it's at for me. I, I've had a great time with my friends shooting things. There were some uh, bits where I couldn't throw the grenade properly, but yeah, you know, there was a few bits. But after playing halfway through it, I kind of got used to the whole gun works and stuff. It's gonna blow up in my hand. You gotta, you gotta like. I have to press the trigger, then your bum lets up, and then you can throw them. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, Jesus, that made me jump. I pressed the wrong button. Right? <laughs> one over the fence. All right, okay. You ready for this? This is going to be the best one. Are you going to get it over the fence? I am going to get it. Go on. That's <laughs> 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 where I just went. And there you go, Adam. Have this hot potato. <laughs> <laughs> but just remember it's one of the early games that for when locomotion and i guess whole grabby uh wasn't really there um unlike the other games i'm gonna put on the list but it's a good game to play if it once it's on offer i'd get it i'd definitely get it without a heartbeat they've also got a load of dlc which is even better and i haven't played the dlc yet but i will be playing soon with my friend I can't wait to play more of it. It'll be fun. And we're coming down to number four, which is Plasmophobia. Reason being I put it down to number four is because it's good, but it's not good enough, <laughs> I would say. Uh, I, I love the game. It is creepy, but there, there is things that needs to be worked on a little bit more, like more scares, etc., etc. The face grabbing just bores me. But yeah, with Plasmophobia, uh, I prefer playing Plasmophobia in VR. You can play it without VR, but it's best to play it in VR, trust me. It, you just ruin the atmosphere if you don't. Pretty much, you guys know what it's like. You, you go into a haunted house and you got to find uh, which ghost you're dealing with. And once you get enough evidence, you can go out there and earn money. And more levels will appear, uh, more professional and beginners etc etc it will just keep going and they'll end up getting real bad scary ones so worth to, worth a pick and definitely should be on your vr list i only play this game in vr i couldn't play it in desktop mode harold davis oh God! it spoke to me it spoke to me dudes it's down here oh my god now we're coming down to number three and it was a tough decision between number three and number two um uh, but you know what i don't want to anger people so walking dead is number three and i tell you what that game is absolutely fun it's not only just fun it's also a little bit creepy which is all right mild creepy i'd say not hugely creepy but uh it's just it, the way the game works the locomotion the whole feel it it feels great it really does and and the, when, when yeah when you have a knife on the game and you try and take out a zombie i i tried to do the whole that you really gotta like throw that hand down there because you can get the knife halfway stuck in his head and then it's still being alive which it's pretty cool and gruesome, I know that, but every day you have to go out into a town and salvage everything you can. When the bell rings, get the hell out of there, get back on your boat and go back to your safe zone. But yeah, perfect game, definitely would recommend it. There is a lot of replayability on that game, and I think, why not? <laughs> 
If you find us, you know what? You can be our cameraman. How about that? Like, when I say cameraman, I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about, like, you could see things through a, a CTV. And we're coming down to number two, and that is Half-Life Alex. Now, this game is absolutely beautiful, and uh, I, I, I love it. And I've been waiting for a Half-Life, and I, I think everyone has been waiting for another Half-Life. And when they bought this out, everyone thought it was a prequel. Funny enough, uh, well, it's hard to spoil anything to tell you that it's not. It's, it's an upcoming ready for Half-Life 3. I, I know for a fact that ending don't you dare do this to me, Gaben. Don't you dare. Right? I, I pray upon the Gaben Lord himself to make that ever happen. You know what? Play the game. It's good. Uh, if this ain't in your list, then you are dumb. And we're coming up to number one. And number one is a game that I cannot stop playing. Even today, I just keep on playing like no tomorrow. And that is Boneworks. Boneworks is an absolute gem of a game. It revolutionized the whole grabbing physics. Um, the way the game plays is absolutely perfection at its finest. I've been playing it with the Oculus Quest and I've had no major problems with that game. I've enjoyed every single step of the way I have in that game. Uh, Sandbox have got some secret stuff, which uh, is pretty cool. Like, uh, like a portal thing, you know? You start from the sandbox and you can you can uh, kind of like get yourself out of it and find some like secret new things and then like unlock cool stuff like gun range or zombie warehouse. That is where I play the most now. After I've completed the story mode, I've played it like three or four times in story mode and still enjoyed it. Um, zombie warehouse mode is absolutely bonkers. I wish I could play it, but I've torn the Achilles at the back of my foot and it hurts and I can't do it. And I'm, every time I think about it, I just... People are saying it's there's co-op coming, but I'm not so sure. I would love it if they bring co-op because I, I play that so much. But uh, yeah, number one game, go for it. If you Go and get it now. Get it now. <laughs> get it now. <laughs> I love it. It's good fun. And that is it for the top five of the VR games you should play this year. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit a subscribe button. I'm Cornish and I, I run a Twitch channel and a YouTube channel, but I prefer to be more in the MGN TV channel. So just hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment of what your favorite VR game is. I would love to know and I'll see you guys soon. You take care and have a wonderful day.